Today I want to talk about bale silage. Bale silage is made on over two thirds of all farms in Ireland. In recent times, a lot more bales are being taken from the grazing platform. In situations where grass grows is exceeding demand, high quality bale silage can be taken out on some paddocks to correct grass quality. You should aim to mow grass when it's dry in the afternoon or evening time when sugars are at their highest, aiming for a sugar content of over 3% to aid with preservation. In areas where these excess bales have been taken, it is important to replenish the nutrients that have been taken off. Typically, a 200 kg dry matter bale will remove 10 units of nitrogen, 1.6 units of phosphorus and 10 units of potash. The main concern will be replacing the P and K offtakes. Slurry is an excellent nutrient source available on farm that has the ideal P to K ratio to replace these nutrients. Where slurry is not available, a suitable compound should replace it. A top of a nitrogen in the form of protected urea may be applied if required. Also, the inclusion of sulphur, a nutrient often overlooked, will improve the nitrogen uptake and efficiency. When storing these bales, especially if made in suboptimal conditions, it is vital to ensure that any effluent or runoff from these bales is captured and stored. Where storing bales outside the farmyard, you must ensure that they are not within 20 metres of any watercourse.